Welcome back to the deep dive. Okay. Um, this time you've sent us down a rabbit hole of YouTube videos and transcripts mm -hmm. on a topic that I think it's safe to say always sparks debate. Yeah. Scientology. I'm really... We're talking protests, ex Scientologists spilling the tea, and even a peek into the mind of a current member. Right. Ready to understand what's fueling this anti Scientology movement. Let's dive in. Okay. We'll be breaking down the tactics being used. Okay dissecting those claims against Scientology and, well, and exploring how these protests are impacting the organization and its members. Okay, first impressions. Sure. What grabbed your attention from these videos? Honestly, the sheer variety of protest methods is pretty eye-opening. Okay. It's not just picketing. We're wow. seeing street preaching, casual conversations, trying to sway passersby. Oh, wow. Flyers with attention-grabbing slogans like, Scientology is a real estate scam. Oh, really? Even chalk art using Scientology terms to mock their beliefs. What? And then there's the confrontational live streaming right outside Scientology buildings. Yeah, I saw some of that. It's quite a mix. It really does feel like a multi-pronged approach. Yeah. And it's not just a handful of people, right? Yeah. There's a real sense of community among these protesters, yeah. both in person and online. Definitely. They're all supporting each other. Viewers are donating equipment to these YouTubers, sending encouragement through the live chats, wow. even helping cover the costs of citations they get during protests. Oh, wow. It's like their own little support system. Yeah. And it yeah. seems to really fuel their drive. Which makes sense because for a lot of them, this isn't just some abstract cause. Right. It's personal. Definitely. Like Eric Rader. Yeah, Eric Rader. One of the YouTubers. He's a former Scientologist. Yes. And he describes the protests as being incredibly therapeutic, mm -hmm. but also real hard. Yeah. Like very... Difficult. His perspective is really valuable here. Okay. He's claiming Scientology destroys families. Yeah. And uses techniques like love bombing to reel people in. What is that? Um, it's where they basically shower you with the well, uh, affection and attention. Right. To kind of make you feel like you're part of this special group. Yeah. Okay. There's even a moment where he talks about giving up the bed in his van to help out a fellow protester. Wow. That level of commitment speaks volumes. That's some serious dedication. Yeah. Now, on the flip side, mm -hmm. how Scientology is responding or not responding to these protests right. is pretty interesting. Yeah. At least from what we see in these videos. Right. They're not exactly engaging directly. Right. We're not seeing official statements yeah. or attempts to refute the accusations. No. It seems their strategy relies more on tactics like blasting loud music to drown out the protesters. Like you'd see that in one of the videos. Calling the police. Mm -hmm. And there are even allegations of hiring private investigators to intimidate them. Which makes you wonder why this approach, right. why the silence and implied intimidation? Mm. Wouldn't a more direct response be more effective in some ways? It's a valid question. Yeah. Maybe they believe that engaging would legitimize the protests. Right. Give them more oxygen. Okay. Or perhaps they're trying to avoid drawing more attention from the media and law enforcement. Okay. It's hard to say for sure without their side of the story. It definitely makes you curious about what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. And speaking of behind the scenes, mm -hmm. we do get a glimpse inside Scientology. Right. Through that interview with a current member at the Hollywood Testing Center. Yes. Right. And it offers a completely different perspective. Okay. This member seems genuinely enthusiastic about Scientology, yeah. truly believes in what they're teaching. Yeah. He talks about this concept of creating one's own reactive mind, Our... suggesting that individuals have the power to let go of negative experiences. Mm, interesting. Like you can control how you react to things. Right. And choose not to be weighed down by negativity. He does come across as sincere. Yeah. But it's important to remember he's relatively new to Scientology. That's true. He may not have experienced some of the more controversial practices that the protesters are speaking out against. That's a crucial point. Yeah. His experience might not reflect the reality of those who've been in Scientology for decades. Right. Those who have reached the higher levels within the organization. Yeah, the inner circle. We're getting a snapshot, not the whole picture. Right. So it's just one piece of the puzzle. Right. And from those protesters and ex-Scientologists, mm -hmm. We're hearing some very serious accusations. Yes, very serious. They're alleging that Scientology is a cult right. that uses mind control mm -hmm. and financially exploits its members. 
And it goes even deeper than that. Okay. They're claiming Scientology is involved in human trafficking. Human trafficking. Holding members captive through coercion and manipulation. Wow. There are allegations of fair game tactics. Okay. To harass and silence critics. So, like, actively trying to suppress dissent. Exactly. And, of course, the role of celebrities, like Tom Cruise, comes up. Yeah, he's a big part of this conversation. With accusations that they're complicit in these abuses. Right, and that they give the organization an air of legitimacy. It's heavy stuff. It is. And it's impossible to ignore the role the internet is playing in all this. Absolutely. It's given ex-Scientologists and critics a platform they never had before. Absolutely. It's led to increased public awareness of Scientology's controversial practices. Right. And helped foster this community of opposition. Yeah. It's a place where people leaving Scientology can find support and resources. Davey Mismanage, one of the YouTubers, right, argues that even traditional media outlets aren't as intimidated by Scientology anymore. Hmm, interesting. Implying that more scrutiny is inevitable. Yeah, I think that's probably true. It feels like a real turning point for the organization. It's definitely a shift in the landscape. Mm. The question is, yeah. can Scientology, with its rigid structure, mm -hmm. adapt to this new era of transparency and criticism? Right. Or are we witnessing the start of its decline? There's a really interesting comparison that comes up. Okay. The fall of the Berlin Wall. It's fascinating. The protesters believe that with continued exposure mm -hmm. and people leaving, yeah. the organization will eventually crumble. Right. Just like the Berlin Wall did when people could finally see the truth. It's a powerful analogy. When Davey mismanaged brings up another interesting point. Oh, Scientology's dependence on what he calls whales. Whales. These wealthy donors who bankroll the whole operation. Ah, uh, I see. He suggests that publicly shaming these individuals right. could be a key tactic in weakening Scientology's financial base. It's a bold strategy. Yeah. And it raises questions about the long-term sustainability of an organization that relies so heavily on a small number of deep-pocketed supporters. So connecting this to the bigger picture, mm -hmm. what does it all mean? We've got passionate protesters, right. some unsettling accusations, yeah. and this glimpse into the internal workings of Scientology. It seems clear that the internet has become a powerful tool for those who feel wronged by Scientology, yeah, giving them a voice and a platform to share their experiences and challenge the organization's practices. It's almost like the internet has peeled back the layers of secrecy Bro. that used to surround Scientology. Exactly. It's much harder for organizations like Scientology to operate in the shadows now, yeah. now that information is so accessible. Right. And people can connect and share their experiences so easily. It really is a fascinating case study. It is. In how systems of power and belief are being challenged in this digital age. Absolutely. Like how much has changed even in the past decade. And it raises all sorts of questions about accountability, right. transparency, and how technology can be used to hold institutions responsible. Okay, so we've talked about the protesters' tactics mm. and how Scientology is or isn't responding. Right. But what about the actual substance of their claims? Right. Are these accusations credible? Well, that's where things get a bit more complicated. Okay. We have to remember that these videos are presenting a very specific perspective. Right. They're made by people who have a clear agenda to expose and oppose Scientology. So we need to be cautious about taking everything we see at face value. Right. Okay. It's essential to consider the source and their motivations. Mm -hmm. While many of the claims against Scientology have been documented and investigated over the years, right. there are also people who strongly defend the organization and its practices. Like we did hear from that current member. Exactly. Who spoke positively about his experience. And that highlights the complexity of this issue. Yeah. There are multiple perspectives, and it's important to consider them all. Right before forming an opinion. So how do we navigate this kind of information overload? Yeah. How do we separate fact from fiction? Right. Especially when dealing with something as controversial right. and potentially sensitive as Scientology. Right. It all comes down to critical thinking. Okay. We need to evaluate the evidence. Right. Consider the sources and yeah. be aware of our own biases. Yeah. It's also crucial to seek out a range of perspectives. Okay. Including those that challenge our own assumptions. It's like being a detective. Yeah. Trying to piece together a puzzle. Yeah. Using all the clues available. Precisely. And in this case... It's a complex puzzle. It is. But that's what makes it so intriguing, isn't it? Absolutely. It's a deep dive into human nature, really. Yeah. What leads people to believe what they believe. Right. 
How do these systems of power operate? Yeah. What happens when faith clashes with doubt in this digital age? These are all questions worth exploring. Definitely. And this deep dive has definitely given us plenty to think about. For sure. Okay. So we're starting to get a clearer picture mm -hmm. of the forces at play in this anti-Scientology mm -hmm. movement. We've yeah. explored the motives of the protesters, right. Scientology's response, or lack thereof, yeah. and the power dynamics that the internet is fueling. Right. But there's one element we haven't really touched on yet, the role of celebrities. Ah, yes, the celebrity factor. Right. Scientology is notorious for its high-profile members. Yeah. Particularly Tom Cruise. And his presence looms large in this whole conversation. For sure. We see it in the protesters' chants. Yeah. On the flyers they're handing out, mm -hmm. in the online discussions. It's clear that Cruise is a lightning rod for both supporters and critics of Scientology. And that's not surprising. No. He's arguably the most famous Scientologist in the world. Right. And his unwavering commitment to the organization, despite all the controversy, yeah. has made him a symbol of its success mm -hmm. and a target for those who oppose it. His involvement adds yet another layer of complexity yeah. to an already intricate situation. Yeah. He becomes this potent symbol right. representing different things to different people. Yeah. And his association with Scientology inevitably shapes public perception of the organization. So what does Tom Cruise's presence tell us mm -hmm. about the broader dynamic between Scientology and the outside world? It's a reminder of the power of celebrity. Okay. It speaks to Scientology's strategic cultivation of high-profile individuals right. and the influence they wield in shaping public opinion. It also highlights the role of charisma and belief. Right. Cruz's unwavering faith in Scientology, mm. regardless of the controversies, yeah. seems to resonate with some while alienating others. It's a fascinating example it's of okay. how personal conviction yeah. amplified by fame yeah. can become a powerful force in shaping narratives and influencing perceptions. And it's something that plays out on a global scale. Definitely. Thanks to the reach of media and the internet. It's almost like a Hollywood story playing out in real life yeah. with all its drama, yeah. intrigue, and moral ambiguities. Speaking of price, okay. one of the major accusations leveled against Scientology right. is that they financially exploit their members. Yes, the protesters claim that Scientology requires exorbitant fees for their courses and services. Okay. Essentially draining their followers' bank accounts. Wow. And this is a recurring theme in the videos we've seen. It's a pretty serious allegation. It is. What evidence is there to support it? Well, we hear firsthand accounts from former Scientologists like Eric Rader. Okay. Who describes having to work long hours. Right. And donate a significant portion of his income to the church. Wow. He even claims that the church pressured him to take out loans. Really? And max out his credit cards to pay for courses. And Davey Mismanage brings up those whales again. Right, those wealthy donors. Arguing that Scientology relies heavily on wealthy donors to keep their operations running. Right. So it seems like money plays a significant role in all of this. It does. Whether it's the allegations of financial exploitation yeah. or the influence of wealthy donors. It's a complex issue for sure. It really does feel like we're watching a clash of ideologies play out right in front of us. Yeah. You've got Scientology with its strict doctrines and hierarchical structure, mm -hmm. and then this decentralized online movement fueled by personal experiences and a desire for transparency. It's a fascinating example of how the internet is reshaping the landscape of power and belief. Right. Traditional institutions are being challenged by these grassroots movements yeah. that can organize and disseminate information with incredible speed and reach. And Scientology, with its history of secrecy and control, right. seems especially vulnerable to this kind of exposure. Uh, exactly. Like they're not used to this level of scrutiny. Tactics like intimidation and legal pressure, which yeah. might have been effective in the past, yeah. are less potent in the age of social media and viral videos. Yeah, it's hard to keep things under wraps. It's much harder to control the narrative when anyone can share their story with the world. It's almost like the internet has become a great equalizer. It has. Giving a voice to those who were previously silenced or marginalized. And that's an incredibly powerful shift. It empowers individuals to share their stories, mm -hmm. connect with others who've had similar experiences, right. and hold institutions accountable for their actions. It feels like we're witnessing a shift in the balance of power. I think so. Where information and transparency are becoming increasingly valuable currencies. 
Absolutely. And this has implications not just for Scientology, right. but for any organization that relies on secrecy, yeah. control, and unquestioning obedience. Like the internet is changing the rules of the game. The internet is making it harder and harder to operate in the shadows. It's a reminder that in the digital age, mm -hmm. the truth has a way of surfacing. It does. No matter how hard some might try to bury it. And that's a hopeful thought, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It suggests that we're moving towards a more transparent and accountable world. Right. Where individuals have the power to speak truth to power and demand justice. So for you, our listener. Yes. What does all this mean? We've explored the motivations of those protesting against Scientology. Oh. The accusations they're leveling. Mm -hmm. The organization's response or mm -hmm. lack thereof. Yeah. And the potential impact this movement could have on its future. We've seen how the internet is fundamentally transforming the dynamics of power and belief. Yeah. Giving individuals a platform to challenge institutions and demand accountability. And we've examined the complex role of celebrities, mm -hmm. how they can shape public perception and fuel both support and opposition. It's been a deep dive into a world of controversy, belief, and the clash between traditional structures and the disruptive force of the internet. And as we resurface from this deep dive, yes, we want to leave you with a final thought. Okay. We've seen how these protests are playing out in the context of Scientology. Right. But the underlying themes resonate much more broadly. I do. How do any systems of belief, yeah. whether religious or secular, mm -hmm. maintain their authority when faced with criticism? It's a question worth asking. What happens when faith collides with doubt in the digital age? These are questions worth considering, no matter what your own beliefs may be, finally.